Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Hi, 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 hi. I haven't done one of these Get Ready With Me's beauty videos in ages. I swear I wasn't gonna do any more of these, but I can't help myself because we all like to look cute and get made up. And I have a little date, a little daily date tonight. So I gotta get ready, so I might as well get ready with you guys. And I am trying out this new hair from Curl Queen. So you'll see what it looks like. It's some curly hair and it's clip-ins. Normally I do crochet braids, I've done wigs, but you know, I haven't worn a wig in almost, damn, almost two years. Almost two years? I haven't worn a wig in almost two years. Cause you know, it's starting to affect my edges and a girl wants to keep her edges, okay? I've been doing crochet braids. I wanna show you guys something that you can do that's a lot easier, it doesn't take as much time as crochet braids. But let me show you what's in this box. So, we got this. This box right here got a little damaged in um, transit, but that's okay. A little bag and it has a brush in there. Show you guys, there's a brush in there. Okay. A silk bonnet. Oh, this is a good silk bonnet too. It has a little drawstring on it, some extra clippings, and you know I'm gonna use this for makeup for when I'm traveling, so yes. The hair comes in a little pouch like this. It's really easy to wash, you can use any shampoo, any conditioner, and the hair is so soft, it's such good quality. I can just use my fingers and rake them through and it acts as a detangler, and the hair didn't shed at all. And this is the hair after it's been washed, it's loosened up, and it is super long. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is not my hair texture, so how am I gonna blend in these clippings with my hair? Well, I'm gonna show you. So you get nine pieces all together, two ultra long ones. So be putting this in the middle of the hair, two medium sized ones, and the short one is, it stops about there. So that's the length of the short. Well, medium sized. Two slightly shorter ones, then you've got four of these ultra short ones. What you need to remember about clippings is that when you do your corners, you need to do it ultra, ultra loose, okay? Very, very loose so that you can put the clips in without damaging your hair and without it being painful. I have two anchor braids here that are smaller than all the rest of my braids. That's because I gotta do something special with those in a minute, okay? I'll show you guys. So I'm just gonna grab this one. And give it a quick brush. And I wanted this hair extra long because when you diffuse it, it's gonna go shorter. I'm not gonna worry about putting it all the way down. About here is fine. So this is why I said it's really important for you to have your braids loose. I mean, you don't even have to braid your hair at all. If you can't corner it, you can just plait your hair. But I prefer to just corner it because it lies flat and it's neater for me to see the rows. But whatever base you do choose, just make sure that it's loose so that you can put the combs through your hair without snagging your hair. The only thing I will say about this hair is that they need to put more in the packet. Nine of these clippings is definitely not enough, so I'm gonna have to cut it. I'm not putting my clippings right to the front. I know it looks a little crazy right now, but we will get there. I'm gonna cut it here, so I get two extra ones. Okay, so all the hair is in, and you can see that I have a gap here that I need to fill. Get my crochet needle out, grab pieces of the weft of the hair, and just pull it through. The tracks are double layered, so if you pull some hair through, to your cornrows, it's not gonna be thin underneath. So you can just pull the first layer of hair through to cover up your track so you don't need any leave out. So put your crochet needle under your braid, push it through, grab a little bit of the weft, put it through the hook of the crochet needle, close the latch, pull it through your hair, and there you have it. It takes two seconds, and you just need to follow all the way to the back of your head. 
Y'all see that? 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 Okay, okay. So I'm gonna do this side, and then I'm going to get these and do all of here. Mm, okay, okay, she is in. That is what the top looks like. And I also um, crocheted in the middle as well, so you can't really see any separation. So all of these did not have clippings. I just crocheted the clippings in. Same method, so everything has some hair attached, okay? Okay, okay, we could leave it like this. We could, we could. I mean, the hair is bouncy, it's flowy. We could but we're not going to. So I want this hair to have a much more wavy, defined look than what it currently looks like. I'm using my detangler brush for a looser curl pattern, but if you want super curls, definitely use the brush that they've given in the package because it gives the most defined curls ever. Look at this. All you need to do is just puff up the hair with an afro pick and you have a big, bushy, bouncy curl. But that's not the look that I'm going for right now. You can see the difference on the right side, which is more defined than the side where the hair was just washed and left to dry. From here, I'm going to grab my blow dryer and diffuse the hair on low heat. When it's medium dry, I increase the heat to its maximum so that I can get ready because I just really need to go. Okay. So this is what the hair looks like diffused. Guys, I am so late, oh my God, but it looks so good. Super easy and chill to do, okay? I mean, I could have diffused a little bit more, but you know, I like it. And I put some bands in front or whatever because I need to be able to see. But yeah, I love the look. And this is the full outfit, very cash, still cute. A little bit of color for springtime. All right, I gotta go. I am so late. You guys know how it is. All right, bye.